First off, I'd like to congratulate the happy couple on surviving these last few months of wedding planning, which probably seemed like forever. The both of you did a beautiful job. To all of you who know my brother Chris, probably fainted the moment you opened their wedding invitation. Chris, you're getting married? Say what? Yeah, we were all thinking that too. <laughs> I swear to you, my invitation jumped right out of my hands after I read it. It jumped for joy, of course. Chris was never the guy to want to settle down, so of course we were all in a daze. He had his own way of doing things, more like he's a bit of a neat freak. If you laid one hand on his perfectly stacked magazines, he would notice the half of a millimeter space where his magazine should have been. And trust me, you didn't want that to happen. I would have to refrain myself from picking one of those bad boys up, afraid that I might get my hands chopped off as a cruel and unusual punishment. Amy, I cannot begin to comprehend the courage it took you to not slap some sense into this boy. Maybe you did. We won't tell nobody. With this, you can see Chris is a little weird, but we love him anyways. Amy, her weirdness comes from within. She has a way of surprising you. Whenever I first met Amy, I figured she was shy and timid like a little mouse. And I thought to myself, Chris has such a large personality, how does she keep up with him? After that, I heard her say something smart aleck into his response that he said something stupid. And I thought to myself, yep, they're pretty perfect for each other. Robert Fulgham once said in his book, True Love, we're all a little weird. Life is a little weird. And when we find somebody whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we call it love. And we fall into a mutually satisfying weirdness, true love. I love this quote, and I believe that Chris and Amy fit this example exactly. I am proud to be standing here in front of the two of you, and may marriage be the best thing that has ever happened to you and the weirdest. Amy, I am so glad to have you in my life and to be able to call you my sister. You two are perfect for each other. And you know what else? Chris never wanted kids either. Now I'll be waiting and expecting a baby shower invitation in the mail, along with everyone else here. I can already see that invitation flying out of my hands with joy and excitement. I know you're thinking I'm crazy, but hey, Look where we are right now and look who is sitting next to you. No one ever thought that this day was going to come. Although it took 30 years, we're still here and we're still excited. Let's all stand and raise our glasses to this weird, happy couple, Chris and Amy. Be weird and love it and congratulations. I am very proud of the two of you. Thank you.